Question number one. What are three interesting factors about yourself? I like to get up early in the morning. I like to play the piano and I do not like Legos. Question number two. When did you first realize you wanted to be a writer? Well, I never did. My mother asked me to write a book and after a little bit of perseverance from her side, I gave in. Question number three. When did you write your first book and how old were you? This book, Dead Kid in a Pandemic, is my first book. I wrote it when I was 11 and it was published when I was 12. Question number four. What do you like to do when you are not writing? When I'm not writing, I'm usually studying, doing my homework, just the usual. When I'm not doing those things, I like to engage in physical activities and I like to play sports a lot. Question number five. What was one of the most surprising things you learned in creating your book? Um, any task can be achieved by defining a goal and having determination and putting in the long hours. In short, when going gets tough, the tough gets going. Question number six. How many books have you written? Um, Deadly Than a Pandemic is my first book and inshallah I will write more books in the future. Question number seven. What do you think makes a good story? Any good story has a well chosen vocabulary. Moreover, it has a plot that has many twists and turns. It is succinct and it keeps the readers hope. I have tried to instill these qualities into my own book. Question number eight. As a child, what do you want to do when you grow up? I aspire to become a professional sports player or an investment banker. Question number nine. How long did it take you to write your first novel? It took me around 10 months to write my first novel and each day I invested three to four hours of my time. I thought it would take longer, but once I got the hang of it, it got easy. Question number 10. What advice would you like to give to aspiring authors? I would like to tell them that they should never give up. Whenever I face writer's block or something like that, I have always persevered. And that has proved very, very beneficial. For now, something that I thought was impossible is reality. Question number 11. What inspired you to write your book? In lockdown, I was not using my time productively, so my mother told me to write a book. Um, at first, I was taken aback, but eventually I started writing the book. Throughout the process, my family members supported me and that is what helped me push through the tough times. Question number 12. Can you tell me about the book? It is about a Russian boy who gets abducted by the Ukrainians at the start of the war. He is eventually rescued, but then he is falsely imprisoned and mistreated. However, he miraculously escapes to Alaska, where he becomes the general of the army. I will not tell you any more about the book, because I want you to read it and I don't want to spoil it. Question number 13. What did you learn when writing the book? I learned that it's a very tedious job and it requires a lot of dedication and support. Without support, I would not have been able to write this book. Moreover, whenever I got stuck at the, in the plot somewhere and I was not able to continue the way I wanted, I got frustrated. But hard work and patience really paid off. Question number 14. What surprised you the most? What surprised me the most is when I finished this book and that's because I never believed that I could achieve a feat like this. The happiest moment for me was seeing the book in my own hand and seeing my parents very happy.